Hello everybody and welcome to episode 15 of Belly Spring with me, Brian Brew Royalty. Well, it's July at long last and we can finally harvest our barley. I think we also have oats down by the BJ to harvest, so that's another one. But here, look, way barley, finally at long last. Um, I did three contracts there, but it wouldn't let me do very much because it said I have too many bales for some reason, possibly because I have bales everywhere. Um, so I need to get rid of bales. And if you look at the top right hand corner, my money is going up ever so slowly because I've dropped bales down to the biogas plant. I can tap down there now and just show you. Um, there we are. So here we are, the biogas plant. So I've, I've dropped bales here. And as this collector is full, it starts to empty itself, but barely. And yeah, it's gotta get through all that. I need to sell some of the bales or just get rid of them. Um, I won't be able to um, make any straw bales if I don't. Uh, this Massey Ferguson, as you know from the last episode, came up for sale. And I thought it might be a handy little tractor for just pulling around the water. Um, I went for the stock option, whatever it was. So minimal horsepower and stuff like that. But uh, I actually think I need a bit more horsepower than that. And um, well, this popped up just for 26900 and if you see at the bottom here, it says it has 22 hours and it goes from 96 horsepower to 155 horsepower. So I thought to myself, 155 horsepower, that's nice. But uh, I'll be damned if I can't find that 150 horsepower. Uh, so there's the basic tractor and it just goes from 125 to 110, back to 86. Fair enough. Used tractor one, 96 horsepower. Use tractor number two, 110 horsepower. Use tractor three, 125 horsepower. Black Beauty with the small engine, 86, 125. Silver Special, 125, 110, 86. The 50 year anniversary edition, look, 86, 125. Ah, surely the municipal one, this is like a county council one to us here. 125 for a premium tractor? Nope. Basic tractor 125. So then he goes to 125 horsepower. Um, but I thought it might be a handy little tractor because it's got the little stub, stubby nose on it. Like, you know, it'd be handy just for around the farm and that. But I kind of would have wanted the 155 horsepower version, but I don't think there is one. Yeah, here's the used tractor number three with 125. In the small tires, we oh, can put wide tires on it. Uh, let me see, basic tractor. Put wide tires on it, of course. Panoramic roof, mirrors, beacons, LED lights, wide fenders on it, of course. GPS, no. Three point and PTO, yes. Front loader, yes. No, it's 33,000. Um, don't know if I'm willing to spend 33,000 on that. It's just a kind of an expensive, another small tractor. And the problem I have is, of course, twofold. One is, I like to buy all the tractors that come up for sale. And two is, uh, the new mower I purchased is taking a lot of ho more horsepower than I have. So gonna need a large tractor with a lot of horsepower but first finally we get to fire up the old 9600 we get to take it for its first spin in a long time I mean we've come a long way since I used this last and we still have to use it for corn in there but the corn's not ready Uh, I managed to pick myself up a uh, manure spreader. Yep, just something a little bit bigger so I can get rid of the manure heap here. Um, the reason why we have so much money is because I've sold all the... I've tried to sell all the bales. 
that's basically what it is and uh, I did three contracts so they were worth about 24,000 I think and plus I sold all the the extras that, that came off the 24,000 so um, it's going to be tight fitting here well now um, I also sold milk and I also sold some slurry not all of it but some uh, which amounted to about 10,000 Right, oh, it's pretty fair. Okay, now we're going to start fooling around with this gateway. Can we hide this object here? Yes. Just take down this fence for the time being. Sounds like a plan. Oh, we're hilariously stuck now. This is just ridiculous. We see now. Yep. Yeah. Go back. Go forward. Go back. when I get hilariously stuck hmm. come on now come on now you hear hey there we go Where am I stuck now? This is Ireland, so we get stuck in lots of things. Don't ever panic. Let's swing this header back around. Maybe pick it up. But uh, yeah, that's the problem I'm going to have now. Is um it won't let me make straw bales because uh, back up the fence because uh, I have too many bales so yeah I've been selling them down at the biogas plant but now that that's full it's uh, going to take a little bit more selling uh, disable straw unfold harvester been so long since I had this out of its box that uh, it's going to take a couple of seconds just to figure it all back out and of course this was all grass here so we might meet some little itty bitty problems but we won't worry about it. lower this turn this on let's go perfect look at that um, Realistically now with the problem that I have with too many bales because I do want to keep collecting it is I'm probably going to have to put in a silo that will accept the bales and just hold it as silage. Um, probably... Hmm, Humatan is one probably works probably best. I've used it a lot so that might be just the way to go even though it's unrealistic it's it's just a silo um, we wouldn't use silos here in ireland much and because of the co-ops and things that go on co-ops that have silos but yeah look, it is what it is if this was pc i'm sure we could have a million bales on the map but because it's not we can't so we just have to overcome that and we also have feed for our chickens and ducks out of this. That's money, of course. Everyone likes money. Um, I manured that field there and the field across the way. Just to get um, some of the manure down, it was starting to pile up. It's gone a bit silly. Uh, same with the slurry. It has gone to a huge number. So um, I sold one of the... One... I think it was, um, oops, was it 100,000 litres of it for 10,000 euros? Uh, so, yeah, cover the cost of the little tractor that I bought, I guess. Oh, 
just a little spot there, look. It's okay though. At least it's nice and smooth looking, so you know I rolled it. Always going to be a little bit of uh, new experience doing this field, considering I plowed it out myself. But uh, calves are happy over it, moving back and forward, keeping it all going. In FS19, as we know, we could have been out harvesting every second day. Whatever you wanted to do, so harvest, so harvest. But uh, FS22 is a little different. You do gotta wait a while. But, uh, I have been keeping busy, of course, doing contracts and things like that. And as you can see, our money is still ticking up a euro a time. That's because the biogas plant is just barely accepting what we have down there. But uh, if I to fast forward time now, that will get a little bit faster. I'm just looking at the top of our grain bin here, we're 50% full. Shortly going to have to call for a tractor to come down to empty it. Then we get to John Deere down here, just to keep it all John Deere. Keep Rapid Rob happy. Farm is looking well over there. I still haven't done that with the back of the farm where the trees are. But uh, well, we might tackle that in this episode even. What I might actually do here now is I'll just go on and complete this. No point in you listening to me rabbit on as we go around the map and uh, I could complete this and do a few more maybe I'll see you down by the biogas plant when we're doing oats down there yeah that might be a plan we'll see you soon I'll crack on and we're back we're down here in the field beside the biogas plant and uh, 9600 John Deere Doing a great job picking up all the oats down here and uh, our money is still going up don't know if we'll be able to see the bales from here oh yeah you can yeah you can just see over there where the on behind those two white uh store storages you can see all the bales lined up being sold one little bit at a time but uh we don't need to worry about that well not not too much anyway but uh, the more that I bought, of course, even my highest horsepower medium tractor just can't run it at full speed. So I wasn't going to do it, but we're going to look at buying a large tractor, I think. Um, I think I looked at the Massey Ferguson there. The 8 Series one looks pretty okay to me. 300,000. It's going to cost a lot of money for us. Um, I put some of the straw bales into the shed down at the first farm. I don't know if we're going to have enough straw this year. Um, maybe we should see about purchasing another field that has straw in it. Hmm. Knock off this now. Get the 3670 going here. There's a YouTuber called uh, Farmer Phil, and uh, just saw a video there the other day. They're Irish farmers, and um, they had a video there the other day of uh, rebuilding their Massey Ferguson 3670. Pretty cool. They had it up on jacks at the back, and they had all the hydraulics gone through, and they took it for a spin down the road. Nice stuff, all right. Okay, we'll just put that there for a minute. Oh, of course, I do have the barley field further down as well, so maybe we will have enough straw. Just don't want to end up having to buy straw, uh, even though 
we will have enough money, I'd say. But, uh... Kind of an oddly way to park the class there. I think I just abandoned it. Uh, we'll get this down now. You remember the... I don't know if you can remember the little field that I had cut out for myself down here. You'll see it now in a minute. Oops. They hit there. What am I stuck in? I can't move. Oh, lordy above. Right. I just give it a gentle little tap. A little tappy tap tap. Out of the way, people. I've got to avoid these silly people on the road as well. There we go. Just nudge it across. Get out of the way. Why are they always zooming in on you when you just need a little bit of peace and quiet? Okay, on now. Should be able to back this straight up here. Got it. Must have just clicked the post on the way out. Another blonde horn being so polite all the time yeah you can clearly see the bales there still waiting to go into the digester still have silage there in that silo as well so we're okay for all that there's grass here that can be mowed as well I'm gonna get very focused on that 300,000 mark seems a lot for a tractor maybe I should just give up one of the medium tractors for it mm, but which one kind of like them all now don't really want to give up any of them look at this look how slow he is going around the bends then he stops unreal Your man with the sheepskin jacket and the hat. Get out of the way. It's all empty anyway, so we can head on. Same post again. I missed it on the near side. Just gotta kind of gently fold that. Just uh, this great little harvester, and I missed it. No, 5.9 FM. Didn't really get a chance to use this much, uh, but it has been good. That little roadway I made is working fine. Not the best, not the worst. Wonder if we're going to get much straw off this. Okay, so we have that lowered. Turn that on. Takes a couple of seconds for the old gearbox to kick in this John Deere. But there we are, we're making straw again. So, um, the major issue we're going to have is that we're going to have a whole pile of straw bales. Um, and we do have the straw blower for pushing those straw bales into the sheds, into the cattle. So we don't need straw bales. However, because I have so much silage bales, it's going to tell me we can't make any more. So what I'm thinking is just going to add in Omatana's um, silo that takes the bales and converts them into silage. So it'll be a direct swap, but just it'll be silage I can take out in a trailer rather than a bale. And that will suit me. 
because I'll be able to keep going then making bales and seems like the only thing I can do it's quite the hill here so don't be too hard on the John Deere if it starts to get a little bit sluggish curious to see how much we're going to get out of this this we only did this just to just to see what kind of uh, crop we would get out of it whether it be worth me while so on it again I think it would be though it's not the straightest field it's certainly not the levelest field but uh yeah, we're down to four kilometers per hour three see this is the reality of it here I don't think it's able to go anymore just a little bit of a bump there lift the header and we might just lower it as we're gaining a bit of momentum it was the same when I was sewing it it's just such an incline here Wait for this little car to go. Lift it up. The extra little horsepower we got there from turning off the header. Three thousand liters, all the same. Not bad going. I guess I could just harvest this way up along, turn around, and come back again. That might suit. Time with the idea of uh, maybe buying more land, uh, maybe another field that's got barley in it or something like that, so that we do have more straw, and then maybe adding the silo from Omatana. Turn off the header now we'll have loads of horsepower uh, before we buy the bigger tractor that can handle the two mowers at the same time we're going to need 400 horsepower well we don't but um, 300 isn't getting it done so I think the next step up should be let's go for more than maybe we need just keep this going now while it's going with then We'll have a look at the tractors, what's available to us. I think the Massey Ferguson might be the way to go. Unless something pops up in the... No, it hasn't for sale area. That would be good. I think I'll just go back down this way here it's not that much to do just be a small little strip then that won't be too bad could have a look here and see on the map So we are here, and it's dark brown, so you have field 92 there as well, we'll let that struggle away there. Yeah, we could buy that for 83,000, and we'll have more barley again, more straw, doesn't seem too bad. We would still have enough for our silo at the end of it, and I think I'm just going to lift this now and turn this off, because fully convinced that we will be able to get the rest of that on the way back down should be just about wide enough that little bump there is a problem see if this little bump here I'd love to be able to just landscape that out of it but honestly if I went at that now it would be an absolute disaster I just can't manage it just find it way too difficult on console to do it I was never any good at it anyway and I need a that's the honest truth now just can't landscape very good 
probably something I need to practice on but let's just avoid it for now there's a lot of straw going towards the animals I'm worried about would we have enough straw um, I know we need lots of money for a new tractor but thinking that perhaps we're just gonna buy this here unless this one no too much that's that harvested anyway 6,681 liters of barley that we didn't think we were gonna get we certainly didn't need more grass anyway from this section the straw is going to be invaluable, really, because um, there's field 92. It's just there. I think we're going to have to have a look at field 92. Yeah, those two fields are mine. They're gone. Put this up here. I can't fold the harvester with barley in it. So it's going to make for an interesting drive back. You see now, is it better to go to the road? Yeah, I think so. Just go down the road here. Just can't hear it. Can't hear it at all. <laughs> Funny one. Oops. Just, just a scratch. It'll bump out. They'll buff that straight out. Look at all these people. They come running straight for the zebra crossing just as I am coming back along. Right, we'll take this down to the farm. Oh, we said we we're going to have a look at field 92. Let's go and have a quick look. I know it's down here. In here. It's 100% fertilized. Yield bonus is 98%. Oh, yeah, that's a nice field. You know what? Perfect. Now I know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I see you've all boxed me in. I thank you for that. You know what? Probably gonna need a little bit of juice for this bad boy. Likes its old diesel. Two hundred and eighty two, not too bad. No, this is going to be interesting. See if we can't swing all. Oops, what am I stuck in? Need to be able to swing in here without hitting that lamppost. Oh, come on. We make tough lampposts in Ireland, but they're not that tough. Come on now. Come on now. Gently, gently. See, I can't fold this harvester either, and that might be a problem because it's full. But if we can just... Oh no, we're stuck with the tree. Okay. We might have to do some landscaping here, folks. No. That's how we do it. Perfect. And actually, I should just put this down around there, shouldn't I? Where is there any place at all to put? Oh, here, 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 here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, for sure, we won't be giving away that much the next time. It won't be this grass here. I think that's a good move buying this field because um, we're going to be short of straw, I think. 
Oh, maybe I was wrong. But uh, we are adding to the fields the whole time. Let's start up here, I think. Do need to take the oats down to the... Try to remember that that straw is in there. Need to take the oats down to the um, silo. Hold it all down there. Keep the farm silos for the barley and the oats and things. Just going to use Omatan as one for um, the silage bales. Bales of straw if we have too many. Um, I want to be able to keep doing the baling contracts. And I don't want to have to keep selling the silage bales at nothing of a profit. Has to be profit involved. John Deere is not liking this hill. Don't think we can get any more horsepower into these things. Oh, I see there's a gate down to the field down the bottom left hand corner as well. That's going to be handy. Not too far away from the original farm here. You see it over there. Um, oh, yeah, I did say. Uh, Stop that for a second. I did say we were going to look at large tractors and uh, I did see one of these on the road. It was actually a neighbor who had it in 8740 Dyna. And the funny thing about this is when you go to wide wheels, it drops it down to front. Hmm. Huh. And it gets a little bit lighter. Hmm. Guess I should just leave it like that. And panoramic roof. Of course you need a panoramic roof. So that's going to set me back 312,000. But I'll have 400 horsepower. Okay. I think that's got what I'm going to be getting. Seems like a good idea. We only have 34,000, so we gotta work and work and work and work. I'll be able to do the contracts now again once I can get all this sorted with all this bales thing. I did have a quick look around the mod hub to see was there anywhere else I could store the bales, and there is one mod that says you can put in. 250 bales but I just I don't know how it works I haven't seen it before I know Omatana's one will work I honestly think it might be just a better bet is that stones in our field hmm. okay I generally don't deal with stones I think I haven't turned off but uh okay fair enough we're nearly full Get this bit here. Worth that right there. Oh, this is going to be an uphill battle. Every little ounce of this. Harvester is shaking. Look at the lever. It's like, whoa, save me. It is full, full, full. Handy size little field across the way there as well. 98% we might make it to the end of the row if we did that wouldn't be too bad not that it really matters there we go no we didn't make it doesn't really matter jump the fence Jump fence. Oats. Hmm. And uh, 
How much is said Oatfield? 50,000. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah. I put the 240 turbo down here. I added a little cab to it. Um, yeah, it's still pretty useless, let's be honest about it. There's another trailer in here we can utilize. Jump into this. John Deere is there, but it has the better on it. So we'll leave that for now. The 240 will not pull. Well, it will, but... It um, goes at 15 uh, kilometers per hour, and that's it. Once you put a weight in the back of it. We can fly straight down now. Load the barley into this. And away we go again. All the bales I have ever really do need to tidy that all up. Need to get rid of all those bales. We'll do all that. That's the funny thing about Ireland. You don't have to stop at stop signs. Unless there's someone coming. There's a harvester up there on the hill. Looking pretty good. Double gate there as well. That's going to come in handy. Oh, it's rocky in here. We'll unload this here. And uh, we got oats to take down there. We'll have barley to take down there. I got to finish this field. How's the cows looking? Uh, they are fine, total capacity, everything's okay there, these guys are all fine, um, calves are all fine, and we need straw, surprise surprise, in here, but they're all fine as well, so we're not doing too bad, bailing contracts everywhere, as per usual, takes a while for this to unload, Get in here now. Tuck this in nice and neat. Pull this back in. Engage. Try and keep this out from the ditch with the straw so that I'll be able to come along with the baler and get it afterwards. Hopefully, going across won't be as taxing on this as coming up that hill. But now, well, folks, I think that's where I'll end this episode here. Unless you want to see me do the rest of this <laughs> field, don't think so. It's going to be lots of them in the future, I think. Hopefully, anyway. But, uh, Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers as always. My number of subscribers is going up and up slowly but surely and I really appreciate all that. Uh, if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'm going to be pretty busy for the next few weeks so the videos will be a lot less than what have been going out in recent weeks but I will try to get at least one video a week out if possible and uh yeah so that's it folks please hit the thumbs up if you want to share it, share it. and uh thanks for watching we'll see you all soon on Bally Street. bye everyone